Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Dougie. Today we're going to do something, an appetizer. We're going to do shrimp cocktail. I know what you're thinking. You can just buy the, the, the pre-made shrimp in the little tray at the market. Uh-uh. We're going to make the shrimp taste good. We're going to make the shrimp taste nutty. And the way you do that is with pickling spices. So we'll get the, the shrimp going, the, the, the stock. I've got four cups of water. And I'm going to put three or four tablespoons of this pickling spice in here, which is a blend of lots of different things. Dill, coriander, bay leaf, allspice. We'll do three. And even some hot peppers just to give it a nice little zing. That's what you find in your uh, pickles that you buy in the store, pickling spice. So we're going to turn this on, bring it to a boil. It steeps, as you will. It's going to build up flavor. And then we're going to poach the shrimp in there, take them out, shock them. But while that's going on, I'll come over here and we'll make some cocktail sauce for some dipping. Okay, while we're steeping our shrimp stock, we're going to uh, make a little cocktail sauce. And I know you see in the markets, a little jars of cocktail sauce, like, I don't know, $3.99. This is a buck and we're only going to use a little bit. Okay, we'll start with some ketchup. Okay. Now this is on you. It depends on how spicy you want it. This is some really good horseradish. It's called Atomic, one of my favorites, but it is spicy, but I like spicy. My wife, not so much, but I like spicy. So we're gonna put a little in, and you'll have to do it to taste, and a squirt of Tabasco wakes it up, and a squirt of Worcestershire smooths it out, and we need some citrus. If you have a lime or a lemon, give it a mix and you can make as much as you like. I have some already prepared. I just want to show you how to do it. And this is going to be a nice little batch. Voila. That is it. It is so good. This is the kind of cocktail sauce you're going to find at your favorite seafood restaurant. And it's that easy to make and you'll save a fortune. You can make as little as you like or make it and keep it and store it in your fridge for, you know, a month. So anyway, as soon as we get a boil, we're going to go throw some shrimp in. Okay, we have our nice bouillon working. It's just the pickling spice and water. Looks like tea, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Here I have about two pounds of shrimp. They're 21, 25, peeled and deveined uh, with tail on. It's going to take maybe two minutes to do this. So we're going to pop these in. I'll crank up the heat because it's going to cool it down a bit. But it's just going to pick up all that flavor from the pickling spices. And literally, it, it'll it be done so fast. These aren't real big shrimp, but they were inexpensive. I think it was like 12 bucks for two pounds. And they're always good quality. I don't care about the size. because it's for our consumption, not a party that we did, we're doing. Okay, they're bathing. I wish you could smell it. it smells wonderful. See how they're turning white, the translucent's going away? They're getting there, they're almost there. I mean, maybe 30 seconds. And then what we're gonna do is pop it into this ice water to stop the cooking, it shocks it. So it just stops cooking so that if the shrimp were to continue to cook, it'll shrivel up and get smaller. That's what happens. We're gonna make sure the shrimp is done. I'm gonna take one, it's hot, and I'm gonna break it open. And it is done. See, it's not translucent in the center. And it's hot as hell. Okay? And guess what? It tastes nutty. 
Yeah, go ahead. Okay. We're going to pull these guys and shock them. Beautiful. Okay, gang, we're going to drain the water. It's nice and cold. Okay, so here we have it. Shrimp and cocktail sauce. Would you like to try it, Andrea? Sure. I hope my sauce is not too spicy for you. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Nice shrimp. Great cocktail sauce. And you look at it. I'm considerate of others. Yes, it was not too spicy. I enjoyed it, but I would not be able to enjoy that bite. Thanks for joining. Tell your friends. Subscribe. It's free. Peace out.